What's up everybody, it's Joe here with Joseph Blake Photography and in today's video, this is gonna be a follow-up. We now have new information about DJI's rumored 360 camera. We've also got new info on the import ban that's happening that's affecting the Air 3S and apparently we are getting new goggles. Again, my name is Joe. I'm an adventure and portrait photographer here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is my channel, Joseph Blake Photography, where we talk about tech and news and gear and how we use those things to create content. Whether you're a portrait photographer or if you are delivering to clients, doing weddings, doing videography, delivering to social like YouTube or elsewhere, or if you just love using this technology and gear, that's what we talk about on this channel. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And if at the end of the video, you think that I've done a good job, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Socials all down below, as well as links to the gear that I use. But that's enough about me. Let's jump into talking about these cameras. But that's enough about me and the channel. Let's jump into talking about this new gear. So just a few days ago, I released a video where we talked about some of the rumored specifications and information that we had related to a potential DJI 360 camera to rival the GoPro Max and the Insta360 X4, as well as whatever else Insta360 is doing on the 360 front. I mean, it's in the name, so we know they're doing a lot. But DJI is definitely trying to diversify its lineup considering the issues that they're running into with drones and the CCP Drones Act in the US Congress, but a little bit more about that in the middle of the video. Since the video that I made talking about the 360 camera, uh, now we have all sorts of information, or at least we have pictures and technical drawings to look at. So DJI sleuths Igor Bogdanov and Jasper Ellens, that's Quadro News and X27 over on X, had been posting over the last few days some technical drawings that we believe to be the DJI 360. So we had previously seen the S so we'd previously seen the FCC filing and now we have some drawings. Now those drawings are actually really great and they give us a good idea for what the camera is going to look like. But X user Haka Sushi actually took that and put together, kind of did a kit bash of other 360 cameras and compared that to the Insta360 X4 as well as the Osmo 5 to try to see, okay, what might this thing look like now that we have these specifications. So I want to look at this very not real, but very probably close to what we're going to see image that we have from Hakasushi. So we have the two telltale 180 plus degree fisheye lenses that make up the 360 degree system, as well as what looks like a horizontal screen. Obviously, I'm sure you could turn that sideways, but uh, in his renderings, it looks horizontal. And in the technical drawings, it looks like it's horizontally oriented with the two buttons and the light on the controls. Obviously, this would be a touch screen. And then from the side, you can see microphone, battery door, and power button. Now, what we don't know, because the technical drawings didn't really include this information, is kind of what the other side might look like. Is it just the same on both sides, where we have the screen on both, or is it just a screen on one, and the other side is just kind of flat and blank to save on cost, save on battery power? That would be my preference, to be quite honest. Now, it does look like on the top, there's going to be some sort of clip or cover for the lenses. Now, that might be a protective system, or it might be something where you can change some of the lens stuff on there. Again we will have to see the actual product or additional rumors and renders to know for sure. What we haven't seen is the bottom, so I don't really know how this attaches to anything. So we don't know if they're gonna be using a you know, quarter inch screw mount or if they're gonna be using a magnetic mount or if they're gonna be using kind of the finger system that we see from GoPros. We don't know. And that's gonna be something I think that will definitely be important to a lot of people depending on how you plan on using this device and how you plan on incorporating it into your existing setup. Nothing on the specs, we don't know. I assume that they're gonna be using similar chipsets like what they have in the Action 5 Pro, bringing that AI tracking and denoise for quality low light performance. I feel like that's gonna be a huge part of it, as well as probably leveraging that CPU power to do better stitching and AI directed you know, shot composition and selection. That seems to be the direction that the 360 market is going. But check out those guys on Twitter or X, I've got their links down to their profiles down below. 
if you want to be just right on top of the bleeding edge news. But speaking of kind of bleeding edge news, things that are changing moment by moment, I mentioned in my last video that there was a bit of a, uh, of a kerfuffle <laughs> when it came to DJI importing products into the United States for sale. So when DJI's products are built and then they're shipped to the US, those shipments need to be approved and checked by Customs and Border Protection. And recently, Customs and Border Protection stopped DJI products from entering into the United States for sale. And the reason that they did that, their, their claim, and I have, I have no information on this one way or the other if it's accurate or not, but their claim was that the manufacturer of those products uses forced labor by Chinese Uyghurs. And there's a specific law that prevents that or, or makes that illegal. You can't sell products in the United States that are known to have been produced by forced labor, specifically Uyghur labor in China. And the Air 3S really didn't go on sale in the US fully <laughs> as a result of this. And a lot of people thought that it was because of the CCP Drones Act, which would potentially prevent DJI products, especially the drones, from accessing Federal Communications Commission's airwaves, which is how they make OcuSync 4 work or how they make Wi-Fi work, things like that. But that is not actually the case. It's the Uyghur Protection Act that is giving the Customs and Border Patrol the power to prevent the import of these products. And so DJI did release an update, uh, as they did say, uh, and I mentioned this in my previous video, that they were working with CBP to try to get products into the United States for sale. But what we have now is a statement from DJI saying that a customs related misunderstanding is currently affecting DJI's ability to import select drones into the United States. This appears to be part of a broader initiative by the Department of Homeland Security to scrutinize the origins of products, particularly in the case of Chinese made, Chinese -made drones. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection has cited the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act as the reason for the current holdup. The assertion made against DJI, however, is entirely unfounded and categorically false. There is no reason for CBP to be detaining DJI drones. Now, whether that's true or not, we don't know. It is the responsibility of the organization or the entity that is affected by that to prove otherwise. So they have to disprove that claim. And while the CCP Drones Act would specifically affect drones, if CBP determines or feels that the, or that any other products that are made by DJI are potentially being made by forced labor uh, of Uyghurs in China, then they would prevent the sale of any of those products or the import of any of those products into the United States. So while our previous conversations about the CCP ban has been related specifically to drones, this could potentially affect all of DJI's products. So that includes gimbals, action cameras, microphones, as well as drones. So this will be really interesting to see play out. And last but not least in this video, we do have also new information for an upcoming product from DJI, although whether or not it will ever make it to the States uh, is a question. And that is the updated N3 goggles. So this is a less expensive pair of goggles that uses a single screen device that doesn't use diopters. So it, it's able to be a higher resolution single screen that you just kind of put on your face and look at it almost like a big TV screen to cut down on weight and cost. The two really interesting bits of information that we have, number one is that it will be OcuSync 4 compatible and we expect it to work with pretty much every current modern DJI drone and that because of the construction on the inside, because it doesn't have the dual diopter setup, it will actually be compatible with folks who wear glasses. Additionally, Jasper Ellen's X27 over on X has indicated that pricing for this particular headset will be $299. He's actually saying that it's gonna be 269 euros, but I'm converting that into freedom units. Uh, and at the same time, there will be a motion controller combo for the Neo that will be about $550 to $600. That looks like it includes the goggles, it includes multiple batteries, propellers, the motion controller. Um, so very exciting to have that combo. So that's the news that we have on DJI right now. The rumored 360 camera, we've got the customs and border patrol issue, which I mean, some people are getting their drones, like things are getting through, but it's probably gonna get tough here uh, for a while. The DOD is officially labeled DJI as a 
Chinese military drone manufacturer. So that's interesting. Um, they're suing them as a result of that. So that's going to get complicated. It, it's it's going to be a complicated time here for a little while as far as using DJI products, which is a bummer because I really like DJI products. Uh, and at least when it comes to the drones, there really isn't an, a great alternative uh, for the kinds of things that I like to shoot. And so it's gonna make it, that's gonna make it tough, but we'll see how this all plays out. If you were interested in the stuff that we talked about today, which is the technology that we use to create content, uh, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. That's a big deal for me. And as I gain subscribers, uh, it allows me access to new and exciting things to create for you. At the same time, if you liked this specific video, go ahead and hit the like button. That also really helps with the algorithm. Links down below to all of my social media as well as all of the gear that I use and links to the X profiles for Igor Bogdanov, Jasper Ellens, and Hakasushi, who made that super cool mock-up of the upcoming DJI 360 camera. And if you wanna get notified when I create a new video about stuff like this, go ahead and hit the bell icon right next to that subscribe button. If you are in the Las Vegas area and you were looking to do portrait photography, my website is also linked down below where you can book me for a session. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.